Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A very good morning to our lecturer and my fellow friends. My name is Nurul Nana Shafika bint Ahmad Zaini. My metric number 258977. Today, my group and I will present about Azyata Berhad. This is the list of my group members, which is consists of Muhammad Aiman Daniel, Nur Atika, Nurul Nana Shafika, Siti Nabiha, Nur Fatih Nabila, and Muhammad Afi. Azyata Group Berhad. Uh, it's commonly known as Azyata, which is a Malaysian multinational telecommunications conglomerate with extensive operations in Malaysia. Asia. It is one of the largest wireless of carriers in the country. Azyata was established on 12 June 1992 and is headquartered in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Azyata was a part of the International Business Division of Telecom Malaysia, which is a state telecommunications company. It was separated from Telecom and later listed in 2008. Azyata is one of the first to launch 4G services in Malaysia and Sri Lanka. The group is also one of the largest telecommunications tower players in the region, owning more than 30,000 towers in four countries through the Edco Group, which is a subsidiary of Azyata plans to be listed in future. So we go to the 15 significant risks in Azyata Berhad. First is financial risk. Risk appetite for financial risk is high. Azyata as a risk taker may have high possibility to accept the risk high risk because the Azata might have taken consideration of the current and future condition of foreign exchange markets and it is found out the possibility for Azata to gain profit it uh, is high. So that is why we can see Azata make uh, such a risky decision to borrow in foreign exchange markets even though the risk is high. This risk is able to be detected by analyzing or reviewing the fluctuations of exchange rate based on the website of Ben Negara Malaysia. In order to see the impact of the currency, whether the currency is able to generate net gain or losses. If it, if it is able to generate gain, so this risk will be beneficial to Azyata. Azata has been managing their financial risk by developing the hedging strategies to oversee and control the group's treasury and funding matters, which uh, will involve derivatives such as futures, forwards, and options. Due to the currency fluctuations of floating exchange rates, hedging strategy can offset uh, the losses for Azata in borrowing in foreign currency and will help reduce the risk in reduction of potential profits. A currency exchange rate can fluctuate depending on the strength of the economy and might impact the merchandise rate, economic growth, capital flows, inflation, and interest rates of Azata. Hence, managing the financial risk will help Azata to achieve the objective of preserving the group's profitability and sustainability. Next is market risk. Despite the effect of the risk to Azata, Azata as a risk taker will accept the risk even though market risk is a high risk. This is because we can see that Azata is efficient in terms of formulating a strategic plan that can mitigate the market risk even though they are emerging in a predominantly market predominantly market where this proves the efficiency of Azata. Azata may apply the technique of comparing the return of invested capital with the weighted average cost of capital. By comparing them, the company can know whether the, they create or destroy the value. If return of on invested capital is lower than with the average cost of capital. This means that the company value is destroyed because the return from investment is lower than the cost of to fund the investment. So from the comparison, Azata can know whether they are performing well or not based on their investment decisions. In order to Azata to manage their market risk, they have taken the necessary measures to, to drive efficiencies and innovations through the investing in new technologies, managing market risk by investing new 
technology will impact a firm's invest investment as they affect the investment cost by induce the uncertainty of reduction in the investment cost and in earnings. When new technologies impact future earnings, we will, we will find the important long-term effects where the investment threshold increases, whereas the option value decreases. Even though the earning uh, volatility postpones the investment, but somehow the uncertainty due to new technology will speed up the investment, which is good for businesses. Besides, Azata has major digital product developers in order to create products and services that meet evolving customers' needs. To mitigate the risk, Azata should always be experimenting and evolving their product and services where they need to aim to diversify and must not only depend on a single product or a single services. That's all for me. I will pass to the next to the next presenter. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Aiman Daniel bin Muhammad Anwar. My metric number two five two five nine five. I will continue with pandemic COVID nineteen risk. Pandemic COVID nineteen risk is the risk that could affect the changes in business operation of the company and the economy of the company, and it has been classified as high risk. And it's proven that pandemic COVID-19 risk greatly impacts Azeta as their revenue for the current year is decreasing due to the shutdown of several outlets. As a risk taker, Azeta definitely will accept the risk since the occurrence of the risk cannot be avoided. And Azeta responds to manage the pandemic COVID-19 risk by following the standard operating procedure SOP and do the swab test for their entire employee to avoid the spread of the disease that can affect the operation of the company. In addition, Azeta also can set up a crisis management task force that will need to require the governance and process management to directly report to the senior management. For example, the company can make an inventory of all current and potential risks and by doing this, it will help the companies to get a more realistic sense of what is happening and provide the task force with the fundamentals to manage the crisis. Then next is operational risk. Operational risk is the risk of loss resulting from inadequate or failed internal processes, people and system or from external events. It had been categorized as high risk and the problem arise as Azeta was to rely on their third party vendors in many aspects of their businesses which will give a significant impact for the group operation. Azeta had accepted the risk and to mitigate with this risk, Azeta need to less depend on their third party and more depends on their internal organization. And the action taken to cope with this risk is by develop an Azeta procurement center in order to reduce the dependency to the vendor and their suppliers. Besides, Azeta also can make a segregation of duties which will somehow reduce the internal theft and risk related to the fraud. Then next is strategy and investment risk. In Azeta company, this risk has been identified as high risk as if Azeta make a wrong investment decision, it will greatly affect the company as the company will incur loss and it will also affect the decision made by the top management to mitigate the risk in reducing any negative impact on financial performance of Azeta. Azeta had accepted the risk and their response to manage the risk is the company can reduce the strategy and investment risk by having an appropriate asset allocation. And to manage the poor investment decision making, Azeta need to divide the asset classes according to the stock, bonds and market instrument. By making good investment decision regarding the stock the company can earn a higher long-term return in future. Okay, next, I will pass to the next presenter. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Before I proceed, my name is Siti Nabiha Benti Abdullah and my metric number is 259089. I will continue to the presentation. Technology risk is any potential risk that could result of financial loss, disruption or damage to the reputation of an organization due to the failure of the information technology system. 
Technology risks are identified as a high risk and Aziata are decided to accept this risk. As we know that the technology rapidly advanced and people are attracted to use the newest technology. In response to the risk, Aziata decided to manage and reduce the risk by identifying the key risk, measure probability and impact. Aziata also doing analyze on the risk of hardware and software failure that is needed for the venture and overall operation. Governance and integrity risk is the risk that associated with the issue of corporate governance and integrity issue coming within the company and also external of the company. These risks are recognized as a high risk and accepted by Aziata. To respond to the risk, Aziata are avoided this risk and take an action by select competent board member and establish guidelines to govern the board organization and structure. Ajata also avoid the integrity issue by handling the outside factor or influence that impact the operation business. Data privacy and cyber security risk is any information that can be used to identify someone from a commercial transaction and the probability of an organization will be resulted in losing due to a cyber attack or data breach. Data cyber privacy and cyber security risks are identified as a medium high risk and Aziata choose to accept the risk. As a response to the risk, Aziata decided to avoid the risk by having an up-to-date security software that regularly update and patch the software to avoid weak spot of for hackers to exploit it. Aziata also can conduct training and awareness to their employees and ensure the vendor and partners that they work with maintain high data protection standard while handling their customer data. That's all from me and we will continue with the next presenter. Thank you. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Atika and I will continue the presentation on geopolitical risk. So. Uh, geopolitical risk is the risk that uh, is the probability that the investment profitability will suffer due to the unexpected changes in the politic uh, politics. So, so this risk is uh, recognized as high to medium risk. So Aziata accept this risk. Uh, for the risk identification, Aziata they should interview with the politic political analyst so that uh, the company can know how much they are exposed to the uh, exposed to the political risk so with this the company is updated with the latest and reliable news on the politics of the uh, of the country that they are operating so aziata decide to manage and reduce this risk um, where this risk can be mitigated by uh, aziata emphasizing uh, by maintaining neutral government relation and contributing to the national socio-economic development. So next, we proceed with the reputation risk. So reputation risk is caused by bad public perception of the organization. So this risk is considered high to medium risk to Aziata. Um, in order to identify the reputation risk, uh, Aziata can gather and review the comment from the public by making a feedback form. So this can help Aziata to recognize their weaknesses. So Aziata accept this risk uh, by manage and reduce this risk. So uh, Aziata are actually facing issue regarding a small dividend paid to their shareholder. So this can be reduced by improving the cash flow and performing well in business where this will make uh, their shareholder get higher dividends. So moreover, company also can um, shift their, their growth strategy uh, where this can lead the company to expand less money and they will get more profit uh, to be written to their uh, customer as a dividend and this will increase the reputation of the company. So next one is risk from subsidiary. So this risk is recognized as high medium risk. Um, this risk can be identified by keep ad update uh, for performance of the subsidiary so that Aziata can detect any problem that ar arise uh, from their subsidiary. And they can take uh, and they can take um, uh, and they can take necessary approach to manage the risk. So uh, Aziata accept this risk where this risk is managed. 
So Azeta uh, actually has issue regarding this risk uh, where their subsidiary in Indonesia uh, failed to get uh, to get one of the 5G spectrum compared to their competitors. So Azeta need to start mitigate this risk by um, automate the manual or audited system at small subsidiary in order to get the 5G spectrum. So they also can uh, enable the corporate source sourcing organization so that they can automate automatically provide um they can provide a preferred supplier at the they can provide information regarding the preferred supplier to their subsidiary so that uh, their subsidiary only work with selected supplier to get quality target uh, to reduce the risk of the supply quality that's all for me and i will pass to the next presenter thank you Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Muhammad Afi Ramadan, metric number 702098 and I would like to continue our presentation. Now, let's talk about the regulatory risk. The telecom sector where the Asiata Group operates is subjected to a broad range of rules and regulations put in place by various regulatory bodies. The sector is subjected to high tax rates and significant spectrum acquisition costs in auction. This is in addition to multiple devices such as surface taxes, excise duties, and VAT amongst others. Such policies and regulations could disrupt the group's business operation and impair its business returns and long-term growth prospects. However, Axiata decided to accept this medium risk because they wanted to ensure that they support the regulation that was imposed by the government. How they would do this is by complying with the regulation. Besides that, Asiata enhances the flow for the quick and cost-effective response to the legislation. We can see that this is a medium risk and Asiata as a risk taker will manage the risk in order to, to keep their operation continue. Furthermore, the risk to follow the regulation is much lesser than the risk to not comply with the regulations. Asiata may assess the risk by closely observing the regulations that are imposed regarding the digital industry so that Asiata can expedite implementation of action plans to ensure compliance with the new regulation. And they need to make sure that the business run efficiently through digitalization. Next, I will discuss about the digital risk. Digital risk can be defined as the effect from the adoption of new technologies. The consequences are unexpected and new. Hence, managing digital risk means the corporation is trying to lower the risk that could result from the implementation of the certain technologies to the organizations. While such regulations are meant to create a level playing field between the OTT or over-the-top players and telco operators as as imposed by many governments where the company is operated, as the old group also embraced digital business, it will be affected as well. This digitization of functions and processes means that areas previously not regulated by reference to cyber laws may, not be, may now be subjected to these additional resources. It is then decided that Asiata will accept this medium risk and they, their response will be to manage. In order for Asiata to manage the digital risk, they have created the strategies to impose the regulations that require digital companies to comply with the local regulatory landscape. By creating the regulation, it can make them understand the implications of adopting the certain technologies in the organization. There's a framework that can be followed and help the organization to understand how to set up defenses against threats. Asiata can also manage digital risk by addressing the cyber threats, monitor for unwanted exposure, take action and protect against digital risk. Next, I also will discuss about people risk. People are one of the key pillars of success for the Asiata group as it underpins the company's ability to implement the group strategy and deliver superior services to their customers. Asiata actively seeks out people who are able and motivated to lift the group's value. Nonetheless, hiring the right employee and loss of key talent remain a challenge, especially in the digital economy. Asiata then decide to accept this medium risk and their response is to manage the people risk. How to do so? Asiata can manage the people risk by hiring the right employees, keep employees engagement and motivate them. 
Hiring the right employees can save the management time to focus on running the business and help build the organization better rather than worrying about them. Employees who are capable of taking ownership of their work will help the organization prosper and improve the company at all levels of growth. For example, Asiata have their own Asiata talent management team who is on a constant lookout for suitable employees whilst developing their people through robust talent development programs, attractive performance-based rewards, and providing a safe and healthy work environment. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nur Fatina Bila Binti Jeffrey. So now I'm going to proceed with our last risk, which is environment risk. This environment risk will give a low risk and impact to the company. So now, as we can see here, the risk appetite for environmental risk is low and Aziata choose to accept the risk because uh, Aziata is a risk taker type of company so the environment issues and any related risk is accepted by the company. So next is Aziata choose to respond to environment risk is by managing and reduce the risk. Aziata manage and reduce the risk by switching to renewable source of energy such as solar and wind energy to the power building, thus emitting, uh, thus emitting far less heat trapping gas into the atmosphere. So, Aziata action uh, to mitigate the environmental risk is, currently Aziata have come up with the idea, with the idea to use the bamboo tower to reduce the carbon emission in the air where it is proven to reduce 70% of the carbon emission. In fact, Aziata can also apply the technique for a faulty tree analysis so that they can detect the environment risk that has the probability to occur in every project that Aziata will conduct. So this is our risk metric. In this table, we can see that financial risk, market risk, pandemic COVID-19 risk, operational risk and strategic investment risk causes high risk to Aziata in general. This is because the likelihood for the following risk to happen to Aziata is high. So if this risk occur, it will give high impact to the company. Next is technology risk. The likelihood for technology risk and governance and integrity, integrity risk to happen in company is medium high. However, if this risk occur, it will give high impact to Azata. So, the changes for data privacy and cyber security of geopolitical risk to happen in company is medium. But, if this risk occur, it will give high impact to the company. So next, we proceed to the medium high risk. The likelihood for repetition risk and risk for from subsidiaries happen is medium high. So if this risk occurs, it will give medium high impact to company also. So the regulatory risk is classified as medium high risk because the chances of this risk to incur is very low. However, if this risk happen, it will give medium high impact to Azata. So next is the digital risk. Digital risk is considered as medium risk because the likelihood to occur and the impact is medium. While uh, the people risk is considered as medium low to occur and it gives medium impact to company. Lastly is environmental risk. So the likelihood for environmental risk to occur to company is low because this company does not involve the manufacturing activities. So if this risk occurs, it will give medium low impact to company. So that's all from us. Thank you.